friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday and it is a massive grocery haul. Massive, 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 we were out of everything. So I have a $600 stock up haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost over 135 pounds. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. It's free to join and we would love to have you is also down in that description box. So let me flip you around and share my grocery haul with you and spoiler alert, I found an amazing new protein bar that I can't wait to share with you. Are you ready? Are you ready for the $600 massive stock up haul. Like I mentioned in my what I eat a day on Wednesday, we were out of pretty much everything and I even wasn't able to get everything on my Costco list. I had laughing cow cheese on there and they didn't have it. So I didn't get that and I was looking for a toilet bowl cleaner as well and they didn't have one. So other than that, here is everything that I picked up from both Walmart and Costco. What you don't see from Costco is a case of Diet Coke, a case of water, and a case of Gatorade Zero. Troy already put those away out in the garage fridge. So the first thing I grabbed from Walmart is the Joseph's Lavash flatbreads. Usually I buy a low carb tortilla, but these are recommended from my fitness coach. They have a good amount of fiber. They're low fat, low calorie, low point. There's some protein in there more than the tortilla. So I'm gonna try these instead. I may just have half at a time. I like to really have a smaller wrap and load it up with protein and veggies, but I'm gonna try these. It's been years since I've had them. I also grabbed some mini chocolate chips. I like to have these for oatmeal, protein pudding, for some reason, I feel like I get more with the minis. I don't know what that is. Maybe a mental thing, but I did grab the minis. I picked up a refill of my Fair Life milk. I am just about out, and I've been making a ton of protein shakes. Troy wants Sloppy Joes this week, and since he's going to be the one eating them for other than maybe one night, I did grab the 80-20 ground beef. This one was on sale for $7.72 for two pounds, a little over two pounds, actually, and that'll be perfect for Sloppy Joes for him. And they have the 93% Genio turkey patties on sale. I grabbed those. I thought that would be a quick, easy lunch or dinner. 21 grams of protein. Paper plates because hashtag convenience. Troy asked for bread. I just grabbed the great value white bread. That's what he prefers. He actually prefers Wonder Bread, but Wonder Bread was like $3.50 and this was like $1.25. So he's getting the great value white bread. I, I don't even think he'll notice the difference. And then how stinking cute is this? This is a little light up headband for Valentine's Day. My boot camp group is doing a 5K for Valentine's Day. So I thought that I would wear these and I have a cute little Valentine's Day shirt that I grabbed off of Amazon. I'll show you guys that in a future video, but I thought this was really cute and it was $2.98. Another three pounds of my organic grass-fed ground beef from Walmart. I'm telling you for quality, this is the best. It's just under $20 for three pounds, but it is grass-fed and grass-finished, which actually is a really good price for that type of ground beef. Some shrimp because I'm making shrimp tacos this week. I always prefer to buy my shrimp uncooked, but deveined and tail off. And this was only about $5 at Walmart. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I did grab quite a bit of produce. So some romaine leaves. This is for my meal prep. I'm making a lettuce-wrapped goodie. So stay tuned to after the grocery haul for what's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I needed some fresh cilantro for a recipe. I'm now officially obsessed with the mini peppers. I've been eating them with red, roasted red pepper hummus. So good, one of my favorite snacks, so I picked up another bag. We also have really been enjoying celery with our dip and Troy's been putting peanut butter on it. I told him that he should make ants on a log and he had no idea what I was talking about. And I thought, what childhood did not include ants on a log? If you don't know what ants on a log are, let me know down in the comments. Maybe he's not as weird as I thought, but I'm like, who hasn't had ants on a log? So I did get some more celery, some coleslaw. This is for the shrimp tacos. I did grab some bananas. I like to cut these in half and freeze them for protein shakes. Troy asked for radishes since we've been doing a lot of veggies and dip and then baby carrots for the veggies and dip as well. 
Troy approved the Kashi Goline Toasted Berry Crisp cereal. He really, really liked this. He ate the entire box. He's been trying to get in a little bit more fiber, so I picked up another box. So it is Troy approved, and he's pretty particular, so... If you're looking for a good high fiber cereal, he highly recommends. A big can of Manwich for his Sloppy Joes. And then I also needed a can of tomato sauce for a recipe. Just regular small white hamburger buns. These are the ones that he prefers for Sloppy Joes. I did grab some chicken bone broth. I have a recipe that calls for chicken broth and I'm really going, and I'm going to start incorporating bone broth instead only because there's lots of protein in here where there's none in chicken broth and it does basically the same thing. So I grabbed some of the Sam's Choice bone broth and then I finally found sugar-free chocolate jello pudding for my protein pudding video. So excited, I can actually now incorporate some chocolate pudding. So I grabbed two and then the dip mix. I picked up four. This is our favorite dip for veggies. I put this in with some light sour cream and some non-fat Greek yogurt for some extra protein. This is so stinking good. I am obsessed with this green onion dip mix. Troy also loves it, so I grabbed four packs because we've been going through at least one pack, if not two, with all these veggies every single week. I was on the hunt for freeze-dried raspberries and they didn't have them, so I'm gonna substitute freeze-dried strawberries for a recipe. I also grabbed some more lilies of the semi-sweet baking chips. I wanted the Bake Believe, but my Walmart was out, so lilies it is. I shared these Chobani Complete Shakes in my Healthy Snacks video. If you missed that, I did a whole epic healthy snacks haul and taste test. I'll link that video for you. And I really enjoyed the banana one that I had. So I picked up the strawberry. This one has 20 grams of protein and 170 calories. So a little less protein, little less calories, but it was nice to have it on hand for a quick, easy protein packed snack. Also portable if you work outside the home. And then I've seen these at Trader Joe's and I saw them in the checkout line at Walmart. So I grabbed them. These are the fruise balls. I have the lemon cheesecake. These are energy balls. So I thought what I could do is maybe eat one of these when I wanted me a little sweet treat or a little burst of energy. I'm excited to try these. Like I said, I've seen these at Trader Joe's, but I've never picked them up. Some non-food things. Troy's hairspray of choice is this one from Suave. And then I needed some more washing machine cleaner and some more dishwasher cleaner. And then because I have gray hair, I grabbed the Magic Root cover up from L'Oreal. This actually works really, really good to cover up grays at the root. So I picked up a fresh bottle. We were completely out of cheese, all shredded cheese, all sliced cheese. So I did grab some light Mexican blend and then a queso cheese in place of queso fresco for a dinner recipe this next week. And that's my Walmart haul. Quite a bit of good stuff this week at Walmart. Stocked up on my vegetables and my protein, which makes me really happy. Now let's move into Costco. Like I mentioned, you're not going to see a case of Diet Coke, water, or Gatorade Zero. Troy is currently, as we speak, putting those away in the garage. So I picked up a two pack of fat-free milk for him. I only drink Fair Life because of the protein, but Troy drinks a lot of milk and he's been having cereal a lot. So he's been going through a couple gallons every week. And then they were almost out of their Fair Life shakes. I picked up the one of the last six cases that they had on hand. I love the chocolate Fair Life in protein coffee. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so good. And then of course, paper towels because we always buy paper towels at Costco. Cetaphil lotion, this is the one Troy prefers to use and he was almost out. This is currently on coupon. And they had the big two pack of organic ketchup for $10, which is an incredible, incredible deal. We also go through a lot of ketchup, so I grabbed that. And then my non-fat Greek yogurt, I have missed this. I've been out for a few days now. I have been loving mixing protein powder in with this for a snack. One of my favorite new things, I almost grabbed two, but I figured I could always grab extra at the grocery store, so I decided on just picking up one. Three pack of Lysol. We go through a lot of Lysol because we have dogs. And we spray our bed, our pillows, handles, that type of thing. So I grabbed another three pack. Speaking of dogs, they had lots of good dog treats. So first there's the Pampered Pets peanut butter treats. These have really good ingredients and they were on sale for $10 for this huge bag of them. They're soft treats and they're made in the USA. And then these were also on sale from the brand Good Dog. It says drool worthy jerky chicken. So I grabbed those. 
And then I was so excited that they had the eight in one joint supplement. I ended up having to buy some at Sam's Club and not as many for the price. So this is a much better deal. It's $29.99 and you're going to get 250. So my dogs take these every single day. I love the That's It brand and they had these for Valentine's Day. They're the organic dark chocolate fig truffles. What's really cool about these is they're 23 calories per truffle and less than one gram of sugar. So I thought what a perfect, perfect sweet treat. You can have three of them for 70 calories, 16 carbs, less than one gram of protein, and there's four grams of fiber. So you can't beat it. So I had to grab them to try. I also picked up a huge tub of cottage cheese because we eat a lot of cottage cheese. You know, I love good culture, but Walmart doesn't carry it. So Costco had this for about $5. It'll do till I can get some more good culture. Completely out of AA batteries from Christmas. We went through a lot of batteries at Christmas. So I did a restock and then I do all of my personal personal and business taxes with TurboTax. This is $20 off right now at Costco, so it's $75 instead of $95, which is a really, really good deal. So I always buy my TurboTax every year from Costco. Like I mentioned, we were completely out of cheese, and I love this variety pack from Finlandia. There is four different kinds of cheeses in here. Swiss, Colby Jack, Cheddar, and Havarti. Really, really good cheeses some English cucumbers for veggies and dip. And then I did buy my fruit at Costco. So I have some raspberries, blueberries, and then I grabbed some red seedless grapes. I really wanted strawberries, but they didn't have any. So this is the fruit for us for the week. Tortillas for Troy, these are less than $5 for 30 tortillas. So that's a really, really good deal. And then I was out of frozen fruit completely. So this time I decided to go with organic frozen blueberries. I did pick up a 28 pack of the individual bags of Skinny Pop. Tori's been really enjoying popcorn at night, so I grabbed this for him. That way it's pre-popped, ready to go. He can have it for an evening snack. I also grabbed some Swiffer dusters. These are on sale, and I like to use these when I clean my blinds and when I clean the molding in my house so that I can just take the little fluffy part off and throw it away. It's better than having to wash my regular duster all the time. And because these were such a great deal, I grabbed them. I also needed a refill of my makeup wipes. I prefer the Kirkland ones. I find that they are the best value and they are the wettest. So they take off your makeup a lot easier. I use these for swatches on my beauty channel. So I do go through a lot of makeup wipes. For lunch meat, I hemmed and hawed on what to grab and I decided to pick up this oven roasted turkey uncured honey ham. I've been trying to buy all of my meats uncured and this was the best deal and had the most amount of protein. So I picked that up. Speaking of protein, oh my goodness, run, don't walk to Costco for these protein bars. I actually, they're open. I ate one on the way home. This is from the brand Simply Protein. So these bars are only 150 calories. They have 15 grams of protein. There's five times peanut butter chocolate, five times lemon coconut, and five times chocolate sea salt. I had the chocolate sea salt so good. They're like a rice crispy bar and the macros and everything on these are so good. You can't beat it and they were absolutely delicious. So definitely, definitely highly recommend. The more string cheese, our favorite is this Organic Valley Stringles. This one, in my opinion, is the best string cheese. And then a big bag of avocados. So that is this massive, massive grocery haul. Let's go ahead and jump into what is on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So today, Saturday, I am actually going out for dinner. We are going to Top Golf with my boot camp group. I'm super excited for our ladies' night. So I'm not sure what I'll be having, but it will definitely be out for dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, I am making Sloppy Joe's per Troy's request. On Monday, I'm doing sheet pan shrimp tacos. You guys will actually see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so make sure you're subscribed. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm making creamy pesto chicken because I didn't make it this last week. And then Thursday and Friday are always leftover nights so we can finish up anything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I can't wait for this. I'm making homemade breakfast cookies. For lunch, I'm doing turkey taco lettuce wraps. I also am super excited for this. And then a snack. I'm making homemade protein bars. I love trying my hand at different homemade protein bars and granolas just so that I can control the ingredients. So stay tuned on Monday for meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing this massive haul from Walmart 
and Costco. Like I said, run, don't walk for those protein bars. They are so, so, so good. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because again, I upload a grocery haul every Saturday and five videos every single week. Down in the description box is nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come and join us. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.